The International Council of Women was founded in 1888 as the first truly global women's non-governmental organization to promote the status of women and well-being of society. The founding members included Susan B. Anthony, May Wright Seymour, and Frances Willard, among others. 80 speakers and 49 delegates from eight countries attended the first gathering in Seneca Falls, New York. ICW was present and alert when the United Nations was formed, making certain that the United Nations Charter included women's equal rights and that the Commission on the Status of Women could be established. It was at the UN, with ICW prodding, that the International Women's Year was proclaimed in 1975. Through the United Nations Decade for Women and four world conferences, including the Beijing Conference of 1995, ICW was always at the center of the global women's movement, improving the lives of women all over the world. Over the past 130 years, ICW succeeded in building its reputation of professionalism while consistently maintaining strong ties with the United Nations. Working together with women worldwide, ICW has represented women's views at national, regional and international levels, mobilized world public opinion, and implemented UN Millennium Development Goals and Sustainable Development Goals in its programs. One of the first NGOs to obtain general consultative status with the UN Economic and Social Council in 1947, ICW currently has 25 permanent representatives to UN agencies such as ILO, FAO, ASCAP, UNESCO, UNIDO, UNICEF, and UN Habitat. Every March, in addition to attending the UN Conference of the Commission on the Status of Women, ICW organizes several side and parallel events related to women's equal rights and empowerment. Today, ICW has 25 standing committee coordinators and advisors to form policies by developing the plans of action and to disseminate important information to ICW members on elimination of discrimination and violence against women equal rights and opportunity for all, equal access to health care and social protections, child and family, education, environment, and other issues of concern. As ICW membership expanded, disparity in development led to differing regional issues. In 1961, the European members established the European Center of the International Council of Women, ECICW. During the 1970s, ICW established other regional councils in the Americas, Asia Pacific and Africa, to strengthen relations among national councils in those regions. The ICW is managed by three bodies, the General Assembly, the Executive Committee, and the Board. The General Assembly of ICW meets every three years to evaluate women's status and development around the world, to assess the activities and programs of ICW affiliates, to adopt resolutions, as well as to establish a new triennial theme. At the GA, ICW members also conduct business and elect the president, board members, and standing committee for the next three years. The 
executive committee meeting is held 18 months after the GA to ensure that the projects planned have been implemented. Host councils plan seminars and workshops in addition to the business meetings where delegates present their midterm reports and evaluate programs of action. The 15 members of the board manage the organization under the president's leadership. It meets twice a year and right before and after the GA and DCM. The ICW also achieves its objectives through several funds raised from generous donations of ICW members, such as the Small Development Fund, the Louise Van Egan Lady Aberdeen Fund, Liddy Rossini Fund, and Project 5.0. These funds have helped to build schools in Pakistan and Mexico, to train employment skills for women and girls in India, to train security personnel in detecting unwilling child marriages in Lebanon, and to train entrepreneurship for women in Lesotho and Papua New Guinea, among others. The year of 2018 marks the 130th anniversary of ICW's founding. For 130 years, ICW has remained an active pioneer and a leader in representing women's voice and promoting international women's rights. We, ICW, will continue to build onto our tradition and redouble our efforts to make the world a safer and happier place, not only for us, but for all women of the world.